Uh, your virtual reception is could come to somebody that's even remote and you can talk to them. Or you can come in and reserve your space for the day. Yeah. So you come in, you touch where you want to go, and then you come in and say, okay, I want to schedule this space. Hit next. And you need to come into your Zoom app and scan this QR code. Yeah. And then reserve it. Now this... What this is going to do is it has all my profile information in here for my Zoom app. Yeah. And so now what it's done is it's gone to my space. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go check into my space. Yeah. So now. Um, yes. Here's my reservation. Yeah. So I come in here. I can't. I actually can't check in yet because it's already. Booked by this other guy here till yeah, three twenty. Um, but once it's my turn, like once this thing's over, yeah, I would just come in here and I would just scan my QR code. Now it says reserve, but like when it's my turn, it'll have my name on it. Yeah, scan my code, and now all my settings, my Zoom profile, all my settings are in this device. Now. Yeah. So, so this particular device. Is this device been set up as a Zoom Rooms device, or has it been set up as just a, a standard Zoom can, um, personal Zoom room? It's a personal Zoom. Room. Easy R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's so all this is Zoom. even though it's it's not Zoom Rooms, it can set up. It sets up everything like it's Zoom, but like basically. Yeah. So when I like my calendar, so I've integrated with with um, my calendar. Yeah. And so it knows my meetings and my calendar. So everything will be loaded in just like it's my personal home device. Yeah. While I have this reserved, it's essentially customized to my, you know, my profile and all cool. my 